Hi, my name is Gabrielle. I'm an application specialist here at Bamaki. Have you ever wondered what sublimation paper is suitable for hard and soft substrates? Well, in this week's episode of Tips and Tricks, I'll be giving a quick overview of finding the right sublimation paper for your application. I'll show you how Beaver Paper's text print XP paper is suitable for hard and soft substrates, utilizing a Mamaki printer. So without further ado, let's get started. First, I'll start by opening the packaging file I've created for my application in Illustrator. I've created a packaging design for three mugs and three mug boxes. This print file will also be printed on Beaver Paper's text print XP sublimation paper, which is ideal for hard and soft substrates. Upload your files in Rasterlink by selecting File Open. Search for your file, then click OK. Once your job appears in the job list, select your file, then click the Quality tab. In the Quality icon, you can change the color matching settings, resolution, and profile settings for printing. Select the media profile for the paper manufacturer you are using. For this video, I'm using Beaver Papers Text Print XP Sublimation Paper. Next, click General Print. Arrange your image in the center, then click Reverse. It's important to note with sublimation to reverse images when printing. Then add copies and a space between images as desired. Now it's time to print. Today I'll be using the TS55, which is our high volume dye sublimation printer. With this printer, you can scale your operation with its high-end features that offer unattended continuous printing, industry-leading productivity, and low running costs to meet marketplace demands. This printer has water-based inks that are compatible with Beaver Paper's Text Print XP paper. The clay-coated sublimation paper can handle extreme ink loads, resist cockling, while maintaining high definition and color accuracy. This paper is also compatible with our other sublimation printers such as the TS30, TS300P, and the TS500. After printing, cut out the image and begin trimming the excess transfer paper. In your sublistock box, you're going to place the glossy side on the image. Next, you're going to use heat tape and you're going to tape a couple of pieces around the sublistock box to make sure it stays in place when you're heat pressing. Next, we're going to take our mug and our heat transfer paper and we're going to place the heat transfer paper face down on our mug. Next, we're going to grab the tape and we're going to tape down our image um, and this will help make sure that the image stays in place when the mug is being pressed. Now we're going to head to the press. Place a sheet of Teflon sheet down, then place the substrate on the press with the image face up. Then place the Teflon sheet on top. We're also going to place our mug in the press. Um, heat press the mug box for 50 seconds at 393 degrees Fahrenheit and the mug for 2 to 3 minutes at 380 degrees Fahrenheit. One of the key advantages of using this paper is that it has a high color yield, which means more ink is on the substrate and less ink is left on the paper after transferring or well, heat pressing. Once the timer goes off, remove the Teflon sheet and peel the transfer paper off. Once the box has cooled down, you can assemble it. Start by creasing all of your tabs so your box can take formation. After folding the box, you can insert the mug. And now you have a finished application. Hi guys, I hope you're enjoying the application video so far. I just want to go over a couple of key features that the text print XP paper offers. So the first feature is versatility. This is a multi-purpose, heavyweight, um, clay-coated sublimation paper. This clay-coated paper works uh, well with hard and soft applications such as home decor, trade show graphics, banners, and promotional items. So like you saw in my video, I use this paper to sublimate to a mug box and a mug. But with the same paper, you can sublimate to a banner-like material like the one you see here. 
The second feature that I want to mention is quick dry. So this paper dries fast, which eliminates smudging or any handling issues that you might have during production. This paper is also uh, great for um, handling um, heavy ink loads, uh, cockling while maintaining um, high definition and high um, color accuracy that you want while you're printing. The third feature is high color yield. So when you're sublimating, you'll have more ink on your substrate than your print sheet. The fourth feature is recyclable. This product is recyclable. So if you're all about um, sustainability or just recycling, then this is also a plus. I know I've only given you four key features, um, and of course there's more, but I hope this kind of helps um, or give you an idea of like what you could think about whenever you're trying to choose the right um, sublimation paper for your application. So thank you guys for tuning in, and I hope to see you guys for the next Triple T video.